In the tapestry of life and legacy, some stars shine so brightly, they leave an everlasting glow. Welcome to Legendary Loss, where we pay tribute to these remarkable souls, delving deep into their stories, their achievements, and the memories they've imparted upon us. As we journey through these tales of inspiration and impact, we kindly invite you to subscribe and join our community. Please share your thoughts, reflections, and respectful memories in the comments, creating a space of collective remembrance and appreciation. Together, let's celebrate the stars who forever touched our hearts. Henry Kissinger Henry Kissinger, a prominent figure in American foreign policy for over 50 years, passed away at the age of 100. His death occurred on Wednesday, November 29th, at his residence in Connecticut, as announced by his consulting firm, Kissinger Associates, Inc. Details regarding the exact cause of death have not been disclosed at this time. Kissinger will be remembered for several key contributions and controversies in his role as a diplomat and political figure. He served as the United States Secretary of State and National Security Advisor under Presidents Richard Nixon and Gerald Ford. His tenure in these roles significantly influenced U.S. foreign policy. Perhaps one of his most significant achievements was his role in orchestrating the opening of diplomatic relations between the United States and the People's Republic of China in the early 1970s. This was a pivotal shift in the Cold War dynamics and had lasting impacts on global geopolitics. Kissinger also played a central role in the negotiations that led to the Paris Peace Accords in 1973, intended to bring an end to the Vietnam War. His efforts in these negotiations earned him the Nobel Peace Prize, although the award was controversial due to the ongoing conflict in Vietnam. He was extremely instrumental in the policy of détente with the Soviet Union, a period of ceased Cold War tensions highlighted by the Strategic Arms Limitations Talks, SALT, which led to significant arms control agreements. Kissinger was involved in U.S. policy decisions in other areas of the world, including Latin America, the Middle East, most notably during the Yom Kippur War, and Southeast Asia. His actions in these regions have been subject to considerable debate and criticism. Beyond his government service, Kissinger was known as a scholar, author, and commentator on international relations. His writings and theories on diplomacy and real politic have had a lasting influence on international relations theory and practice. Norman Lear Norman Lear, a highly influential figure in television, passed away at his home in Los Angeles on Tuesday, December 5th, due to natural causes. His family, who were with him, shared stories and sang songs together until his final moments, as stated in a family announcement on Facebook on Wednesday. Mr. Lear reached an incredible age of 101. Norman Lear will be remembered as a pioneering television writer and producer who left a lasting impact on American television. He is best known for creating and producing groundbreaking sitcoms that addressed social and political issues, often in a way that was both humorous and thought-provoking. Some of his key contributions include All in the Family, from 1971 to 1979. Perhaps his most famous creation, this sitcom broke new ground by tackling social issues such as racism, sexism, and other societal taboos. This show featured the character Archie Bunker, an outspoken, conservative, working-class man, and addressed issues through the lens of family dynamics and generational conflicts. The Jeffersons, from 1975 to 1985. This spin-off from All in the Family was notable for its portrayal of an affluent African-American family, a rarity in television at the time. It dealt with issues of race, class, and social mobility. Maud, from 1972 to 1978. Another All in the Family spin-off, Maud was groundbreaking for its portrayal of a strong, outspoken woman in the lead role 
and for addressing controversial issues such as abortion. Good Times, from 1974 to 1979, co-created by Lear, this show focused on an African-American family living in a Chicago housing project, addressing issues of poverty and social challenges. One Day at a Time, from 1975 to 1984. This series was groundbreaking for its focus on a divorced woman raising two teenage daughters, a family structure not often seen on television at the time. Beyond his television work, Lear was known for his political and social activism, often advocating for progressive causes and using his platform to raise awareness about various social issues. Lear's shows often challenged and changed social norms and attitudes, contributing significantly to the national dialogue on important issues. His work is credited with helping to make television a medium for social change. Norman Lear's legacy is that of a creative visionary who used humor and storytelling to address and influence societal issues, paving the way for future generations of television producers and writers to tackle complex and challenging topics. Betty Rollin Legendary writer Betty Rollin passed away on November 7, 2023, at the age of 87. She died by medically-assisted voluntary euthanasia in Basel, Switzerland, where the practice is legal. Betty Rollin will be remembered for her significant contributions as a journalist, author, and advocate in several key areas. As an NBC News correspondent, Rollin was known for her incisive and compassionate reporting. Her work in journalism was highly acclaimed, earning her prestigious awards such as the DuPont and Emmy Awards, underscoring her skill and dedication to the field. Rollin's memoirs, First You Cry and Last Wish, are considered important works that brought attention to personal and sensitive topics. First You Cry is a candid and moving account of her battle with breast cancer, offering insight and support to others facing similar challenges. Last Wish delves into the complex and emotional issue of assisted suicide, framed through the personal story of her mother's terminal cancer battle and her role in assisting her mother's death. Last Wish opened a dialogue on the ethics of assisted suicide, a topic that was and remains controversial. Her personal narrative offered a unique perspective on end-of-life decisions, prompting discussions on patient rights, ethical dilemmas in medicine, and the importance of compassionate care. Betty Rollins' legacy lies in her ability to address challenging and often taboo subjects with sensitivity, honesty, and a deep sense of humanity. Her work not only informed and educated, but also provided solace and understanding to those grappling with similar experiences. Love and light to these beautiful souls. As we conclude this tribute, we are reminded of the profound impact one life can have on countless others. If this story resonated with you, please give it a like and share it as well, allowing others to join in our collective remembrance. And if you have a personal tribute, memory, or kind thought about the legends we've honored today, we'd truly appreciate you sharing it in the comments below. Together, Let's keep their legacy alive, one memory at a time. Thank you for being a cherished part of the Legendary Loss community. <laughs>